focus on the last of the uh, presenters, and uh, mine will be quite quick, um, because when I was thinking about what I was going to do, um, I decided I could just tell you a little bit of what I do do, what I have been doing over the past uh, couple of years. <clears throat> so I am uh, Julie Crooks, and um, I am a doctoral candidate at the School of Oriental and African Studies at the University of London, uh, but I've grown up here in, in Toronto. Um, I can finally say that I finished that doc, um, dissertation. <laughs> I say that particularly for Ronaldo. Um, who, every time I run into him, says, so are you done yet? <laughs> and for other people, so I, I um, am done. Um, so I want to kind of go through very quickly what um, my dissertation project uh, is about. Um, so it's broadly concerned with the history of photography in Sierra Leone, West Africa, from the late 19th century to the present. And I chose uh, Sierra Leone, uh, Freetown in particular, because uh, that is my uh, father's background. My father was from Freetown. My mother was uh, from Barbados. They met in London, so I'm a child of that um, mix. Um, or in uh, Freetown, they would say, Shina Salon Pekin, which basically translates to, she is a child of Sierra Leone. Um, so the, generally, the past two decades has witnessed this upsurge in critical uh, interest and research on early African uh, colonial photography and its histories in former, in former colonial uh, contexts, such as uh, Ghana, formerly the Gold Coast, Senegal, the Gambia and Nigeria, to name but a few. My project <coughs> is in dialogue with uh, such current research and situates histories of photography in Sierra Leone within the context of cultural studies, art criticism, politics, and uh, theories of modernity and globalization. Viewing it as a complex medium that Africans have used to negotiate modernity and fashion um, identities. My picture did come up, so I'm happy. Um, my project specifically focuses on Sierra Leone, a uh, Sierra Leonean photographer, Alfonso Lescaru, um, who was born in 1888 and died in 1969, whose work spanned the turn of the 19th century and well into uh, the 20th. Um, his work also highlights the uh, formation and configurement of a cosmopolitan region made up of multiple and contested cultural identities. He was an exemplar of Freetown photographers, decidedly the most uh, prolific, and I examined the ways in which this crew participated in negotiating the project of modernity and, making, and the making of a contemporary society through his prolific picture taking. This is, uh, so his work basically, um, uh, there's a range uh, in which he was working, uh, a range of eras from around 1905. This is an image from uh, the 20s. So this is one of the underlying questions of my uh, dissertation that seeks to um, unveil a historiography of Sierra Leone through the photographic archives and the practice of a national iconic figure in uh, uh, Alfonso Luis Peru. There were um, huge uh, archives um, and admittedly sometimes or unorthodox uh, ar um, archives that I consulted. Um, there's a lot of bribery uh, that I had to um, uh, you know, partake in in terms of getting access to uh, the archives in uh, Sierra Leone. Um, all of these uh, methods reveal the contradictions and ambiguities that were shaped by the discourses of colonial relations and racialized identities in a space like Freetown. They nevertheless offer insights um, on the struggles that shaped such encounters that helped to facilitate emerging, the, the emerging politics of the nation and local modernities. Uh, this is another um, photograph. Uh, many of his photographs were uh, eventually turned into postcards. Um, and he was really quite visionary in that regard in that he was also the publisher of some of these uh, photographs. 
um, many times the captions that would, um, or the texts that would be inscribed on the postcards were not necessarily um, created by the um, postcard, uh, the photographer or postcard publisher himself. So Alfonso Luis Carew may not have um, actually uh, placed this text, all dressed up Mandingo girls, uh, which places the subjects as types on um, the image. Um, so in the post-colonial era, uh, as a result of Sierra Leone's uh, civil strife, Sierra Leone was involved in an 11-year-old, 11-year um, uh, civil war. My dissertation further explores the current uh, conjecture and post-conflict era and raises questions about what happens when photographic archives have been decimated and made vulnerable and what kinds of reimagining and reconstitution, uh, reconstituting of institutional and personal family archives are possible among survivors and in the generations that follow. So I'm also very interested in um, you know, the fact that a lot of the uh, photographs have uh, disappeared, um, are, as you can see, weathered and uh, destroyed the archives, uh, in Sierra Leone or in Freetown is basically a little office, it's dusty, um, and frankly, most people are not concerned about the preservation of uh, these images. They're more concerned with uh, abject poverty um, and you know, crumbling infrastructures and corrupt uh, governments. So um, I'm trying to reclaim uh, these archives and take a, a second look at um, how to uh, preserve uh, these images um, as best uh, we can. And so very quickly, um, also about me, I'm uh, also uh, an educator. Um, I started my uh, teaching career here, uh, well, kind of here, um, but also at uh, York University where I developed a, um, a course in African art, um, a survey course in African art. I then came to OCAD and I taught a course in um, art of the African diaspora, and most recently I taught courses at um, the UT and at, Co at OCAD in history of photography in Africa and the exhibition history of art of Africa um, at the University of, of Toronto. Um, and currently, post this, I am working on a project um, called On Africa. Um, at the ROM, and it's a collaboration with Dominique Fontaine, who is here. And we are going to present um, uh, a little bit about what this project is about uh, tomorrow. So thank you very much.